Hi there, Robin here, and in this video we are going to talk about this for a second. 3,000 feet of XLR cable, all interconnected, and we're going to do a sound check on it. This is the Blast King Snake package. It's called the SPS 12 by 8 by 4 hybrid. Yes, that's the model number. And they have a variety of different ones. This happens to be 150 feet long, 12 of them as returned back to the mixing board with four of them coming to the stage, uh, giving us a total of 20 lines. It also has four network connections on top of it. But what we're doing today is we're going to do a little sound check. We've taken the actual snake out of the box and we've looped it back in. So I've taken channel one, fed it into two, two into three, so on all the way until we got to the last set of return lines. And then for the stage lines, which were the red lines on it, I first looped it. So now instead of it running through the roll this way 12 times, it's now running back eight times and then it comes out of the system. What did I do with it at that point? I added another 25 foot cable to the mixing board, which is also blasting, it happens to be the Ultramix 12FX. And then I have it going, then it goes to their 15 inch KXD. We've got all the other equipment in between like we normally do, like the mixer and the speaker selector and all of that hooked up as well. And we of course added a 25 foot cable at the beginning and that's what's plugged into line one, starting this whole thing. And all I need to do is, there we go. I've got 3,050 feet of mic cable running through the entire system. No problems, it's running as if I just had it hooked up directly in. This was a test I wanted to run. It wasn't to make things complicated. It was just curiosity. I'm going, there's 3,000 feet of wire here. That's an extreme length to run an XLR cable and would also show off how good the cable is inside the actual system. And it worked out just fine. I mean, that's, that's the magic of a balanced XLR cable. That's the kind of runs you can put with it. Now, of course, I wouldn't want to do this on a regular basis. I don't think I would have to. But the important thing is, is that all the actual lines are working awesome stable the speaker's not generating any more background noise than it would normally do just idling there which is very important so we're not adding anything to it and i really didn't lose any of my gain and also i'm not losing any signal strength really when it comes to something running over 3,000 feet long so that's pretty impressive and you shouldn't feel bad thinking that maybe you're going to have a signal loss because you're going to use this on the stage you're going to have that harness coming all the way to the back of the hall and you're going to have that hooked up to the mixing board and then you're also going to have some extra lines connected to it. It was built to do that. That's what's going on. It was that simple. It was my curiosity. It worked out and here we are. By the way, there are network, four network lines on here as well. So the four network lines, if you check the equipment you're using, most, if you're using things like routers and switchers, they have a push length distance of about 164 feet. It's, it's some bizarre number, but uh, so 150 feet is pretty much the maximum you want. Connect your equipment at both ends of that. You're going to be fine with it. But again, make sure and always when it comes to network connections, that's a digital signal going through that line. Uh, you definitely want to see how that works when it comes to length. 150 feet is never a problem. I wouldn't want to really go beyond that. That's right. Really need you to hit that like button. But outside of that, that's pretty darn awesome. I mean, again, I could have cut this down, but realistically, you know, let's just go through exactly what we have. So here we are. I plugged the mic into line one. Then I basically took the end of line one, which is here, and plugged it into two. And I did that all the way across to five. And then I brought six down to seven and kept on going. And like I said, when I got to the end, I just did that with it. And I kept on going all the way to the point when I get to the end. And guess what? Here's my end cable. There's another Blast King cable and it's 25 feet long. This is what I sent off to the mixing board. And that's it. Everything worked. So that's one solid shot of 3,000 feet of cable with a Shure PGA 58 on. Whammo. That's it. That's all. And there you go. Everything else about this, by the way, when it comes to a rig, this whole rig is awesome. I mean, the, the rollers, everything, the case. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. This is definitely a great investment. So and here we are at the end of the video. I'd like to say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it's YouTube and that's what people do. They, they like, comment, and subscribe. So and at this point, we have palm trees are on the screen. So definitely, uh, if you haven't subscribed, you've got, I think on this video, we're going to be putting our LED light channel on here plus the channel you're on right now. Our LED light channel is all that, just LED lights, nothing else. And uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.